Hello everybody. This right here is going to be a close look at some of the wiring that I just got done for the Prelude. What you're looking at here is a DPDT, which stands for a dual pole, dual throw. It's momentary, it's momentary, and it's center off. Again, that's DPDT, dual pole, dual throw. So I have this switch here, and this right here is a, uh, <clears throat> a relay, and this is going to be for my Transpo 911 O2R external voltage regulator. So what I, what I like to do, fellas, is uh, I get these little crimp connectors, and I like to take the females, these here, and I'll strip off the insulator. Then what I'll do is I'll solder my wires onto the terminal here, and then I'll solder it onto the relay or the switch, and then I'll double and sometimes triple heat shrink, and I use all OFC throughout. So here's a, another look at it. I like all my connections to be very, very tight, very clean, uh, solid connections. It's all about a circuit efficiency, fellas. The less connections you have and the better the connections are, uh, the greater the efficiency as far as your circuits are concerned. Okay, so here's a look at some of the solder that I use. These little alligator clips I use to wick heat away from sensitive electronics. So I use a couple of little alligator clips here to solder. That's some of the uh, flux that I use. These right here are some uh, single pull, single throw LED switches. Some more DPDTs over there. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, the door, which I have in the living room, actually sitting on the couch. I'm going to connect it uh, to my power supply, and uh, I'm going to show you how these things right here work. All right, so I've made my way over here into the living room. Here's a view of the little test setup that I have here. All right, so I'm going to show you guys real quick how this very simple, very easy to use um, automotive electrical uh, device works. Let's see here. All right. Let me zero this out real quick. Okay. Over here on my uh, little battery, I have the DPDT, uh, the power and ground running to it. It's held, the wires are held onto my battery with these little alligator clips right here. Not an efficient connection whatsoever. I'm just doing it just for demonstrational purpose of this video, just so I can do this real quick test. Show you how this thing works. So we go around there. Okay. Should be looking at 13 and 3200s. Yes. All right. So here's my power and ground. It's running over here into the switch. Then what I did was I ran these two lines right here. It's running to opposite poles of the DPDT. This way I can reverse the polarity. It's very quick, very simple, very easy, and works just like this. It's one way, rest at the center. All right. Maximum current consumption should be much more than about eight, maybe nine amps. Yeah, so we're looking good. So this is just a real quick demonstrational video for uh, how DP DT works uh, for a window. Girl, if you're dreaming deep tonight.